15.2c, multiplying monomial radical expressions. With the product rule, we can multiply these two together, where we multiply the outsides, or a times c, and then we multiply the insides, or b times d, keeping the radical the same. We always need to be sure that our final answer is then simplified. Let's look at example one. Here's example one. We're going to start by multiplying the outside numbers, or four times two, which we will get eight. Then we multiply the insides, or the square root six times the square root fix fifteen. This means we do six times fifteen. If we do six times fifteen, we're going to get a large number, and we're going to have the square root of ninety. If instead we keep it as eight square root of six times fifteen, it will make the next step easier as we have to find the prime factorization. If we have ninety, it's going to take us more steps to find the prime factorization. If we leave it as six times fifteen, we simply can then factor each of these numbers, which gives us eight square root of two times three squared times five, which made the factoring go much quicker. Now we determine if any of these come out. The three squared is going to come out, because remember the index that is out here is a two. This means we have eight times three, square root of two times five. Remember, after pulling things out, we need to multiply them together, giving us twenty-four square root ten. This is our simplified answer. Let's look at another example in example two. Here's example two. Once again, we multiply the outsides and multiply the insides. But also remember that we should always be checking to make sure the indexes are the same. They are both square root fours, so we have common indexes. Negative three times seven gives us negative twenty-one, and then we have the fourth root of eight times ten. Remember, we could write eighty, or this will help us factor it even quicker giving us two to the fourth times five, and still a negative twenty-one outside. We now see if anything on the inside will come out, which in this case is a two. We now have twenty-one times two, fourth root of five. Negative twenty-one times two gives us negative forty-two with a fourth root of five. This is our final answer. Remember, when you're multiplying monomial radical expressions, you can multiply the outsides together and the insides together as long as the radicals match. But always be sure that your final answer is then simplified.